In this session, we're going to take an in-depth look at the Tone Curve tool in CorelDRAW. We're going to take a look at how it works and understanding the X and the Y axis and understanding what grayscale tones and color are. We're also going to take a look at how we can color separate images working with the Tone Curve directly in CorelDRAW. Once you understand how this tool works, you'll be able to identify simple client-supplied bitmap logos that you can color separate literally in less than a minute once you know how to use this tool. You know, we've been under the impression for many years that we have to send everything out to be vectorized and that CorelDRAW is a vector graphic application. Well, it's true that statement, in many ways, nothing could be further from the truth because CorelDRAW is also a very powerful raster application. It really gives you the best of both worlds in one easy-to-use affordable application. Throughout the years, we've had industry trainers and gurus telling us that we need to take our color separations into Adobe Photoshop, and we've come to find out over the last few months working with Simple Steps Raster that's just not true, and that we have color functionality and raster functionality available directly in Corel Draw, with which we can do those types of color separations very easily. In this session, I want to give you a really good understanding of the Tone Curve tool so that you can use that when you need to tweak or make some adjustments to your color separations coming out of Simple Steps Raster. And also I want to present to you a way that you can manually color separate client supplied bitmap files as long as it's a couple of colors you don't have a lot of variations and shading and blending going on. When you get to that point the tone curve really isn't the way to do things. But you'll see some very powerful functionality that's available to you for manual color separations on simple graphics. First thing we want to do is get an understanding of what grayscale is. Grayscale is based on 255 shades of color going from black or zero gray to white, which is 255. Take a look at that with our eyedropper here. Here I've got a CMYK. In CMYK, you start out at black, it's 100% K, but in gray, it's zero, and it goes down through numerical values to 255, which is white. Now over here in K, zero is white. Here we've got 10 K. 20K, 30K, and it goes up to 100%. Gray works differently, and we get different values for different levels of gray. And as you can see here, if you understand halftones, here you'd have no halftones. Here you'd have halftones. Here you wouldn't have halftones either because you wouldn't have any color, so you wouldn't have any dots. Here you would have 100% black or solid without any dots in the halftone. Now, understanding that gray goes from 0 to 255, let's take a look at the tone curve tool. Let's go to effects. So I want to go ahead and select this. Effects, Adjust, and Tone Curve. Now here we have in the Tone Curve a grid set up with a Y axis, which is here, and an X axis, which is here at the bottom. And then we've got numerical values. Now when you load this, you can see it's set down here to the 0, 0 of the two axes. And then you come up here and you've got your 255, 255, or your white of this is your x-axis and this is your y-axis. Now once you understand that, you'll see that you can use the tone curve to make adjustments to grays. For example, let's say we want to pull out this gray here, make it 100% black, and convert everything else to white. Now that I click that, you can see I have a note here in the center. Now I want to change this to straight. This is a powerful feature, this straight curve style here or curve option. Now once I've done that I know what that color is. It's 127, 127 on this grid. If I want to change that all I need to do is come here. I'll lay down a, another note here. Just left click one time. Do the same thing here. Now this I'm going to change on the Y axis to a 255. Bring this here and I'll just key in 255. We'll take it all the way up here on the Y to the white. Hit enter and watch it move. Do the same thing here. Change this to 255. And I'll enter 255 and I'll hit enter and that'll move that. Now let's go ahead and preview this and see what happens. You can see we got some changes in color there. Now to finish this off, what I want to do is take the rest of this black that would be all the color that's in this range of tone that's on this line and just left click and drag that all the way up right there and then we'll hit preview again. And we see all we have left is this gray. Now if I want to bring this gray based on this node to P2, 
pure black, I need to bring it down to zero on the y-axis. So I'll go ahead and enter zero, and then we'll hit enter. And then we'll go ahead and click on preview. And you can see now we've got that as a black. So now you can start to see how you can manage these tones of grayscale through the tone curve, but you can also do color separations with it if you want to, and manage your grayscale or manage your tone curves in your separations from Simple Steps Raster. You can see how the color has been affected in this range here and in this range here. Go ahead and select OK, and we'll let that process. Now let's take a look at doing a separation with this. Go ahead and separate this simple text logo I made for demonstration purposes. First thing I need to do is just go to Bitmaps, Mode, and then I'll select Grayscale. Then I'm going to duplicate this three times because I'm going to need three colors. And you get these simple logos and files from clients all the time that are just these spot colors. Well, if you know how to use the Tone Curve tool, you can separate these literally in a matter of minutes. You don't have to send them out to be vectorized or vector trace them as long as you've got good enough resolution to work with and you've got good image quality. First thing I want to do here is we'll just go ahead and pull the black. For that, I'll use the Sample Target Balance. So I'll go to Adjust, Sample Target Balance. I'll just come up here and I'm going to click on with my eyedropper the darkest gray next to the black that I have. Go ahead and select this. Make sure that it's 100% white. Select OK. Preview. We pull that. Select OK. Next thing I want to do is pull this lighter gray. Effects. Adjust. Tone Curve. I'm going to change to Straight. And I'm going to come over here with the eyedropper tool and just click on the lighter gray here, which is right there. I'm going to want that. Now, anything that's darker than that, I'm going to want to go to up here to the 255. I can pull that up and I can bring this up also. And then we can preview this. We can see we got our gray there. Now I can take this gray, select this, and we'll bring this down to zero on the y-axis, hit enter, and click preview. And here we have, we've pulled that right out. And I'll select OK. And I can come over and get my eyedropper and verify that that's zero gray. I'm not going to have any half tones in that. Go ahead and zoom in here on the bottom. We'll go to effects, adjust, and tone curve. We'll go ahead and get my eyedropper here. And I'll click on this gray, which is right here. I want to go to straight for my curve options. And what I'm going to want to do is we're just going to go up here. I'm actually just going to take and put a node here, just kind of like an anchor, and the same thing here. And we'll go ahead and take this. And you could do this manually also. Left click and bring this up. Left click and bring that up. Left click and bring that up here. And then we'll come here and select this and we'll change this to zero. We'll hit enter. And then we'll click on preview. And there would be our red. I'm going to change these to monochromes now. Bitmap, mode, black and white. Go to line art. If I had some pixelation, I definitely want to go to line art and bring my threshold up. I don't have here, but we'll right click to change the foreground color to a red. Left click to knock out the background color. Do the same thing here. Bitmap, mode, black and white. Go to line art. Select OK. Right click. That's our yellow. Left click to knock out the background. And finally, the last time right here. Bitmap, mode, black and white. Change this to a line art. Select OK. Left click to knock out the background color. Then select all three of these. Hit the C key to center the E key. Hit C and E. There we go. And now we could run this through our simple steps and output our color separations. So you can see how powerful this tool is. Actually with something, a logo like you've got right here, client supplies this. You don't need to vectorize it or send it out to have it vectorized. If the quality of the image is acceptable, you can color separate very quickly this way. I'm going to take this and we'll just go ahead and duplicate this one time. I'll go to bitmaps, I'll go to mode, and I'll select grayscale. I'm going to duplicate this again. Go back here. First thing I'll do is effects, adjust, go to sample target balance. I'll come down here and select this gray. Make sure this is white. Click on preview. Select OK. We just knocked that out. Come in here. I'm going to go to Effects, Adjust, and Tone Curve. Move this over. I'll get my eyedropper. Come in here. Click on this gray. I can see that's 8181. I'm going to change to Straight. And then I'm going to come over here. I'll create a node here and 
create a node here. I'm going to bring this up to white also. I'll take this one. Now I know that that's 81, so I'm going to come over here. I'm going to go 80, and I'm going to change the Y to 255 or to white. And I'm going to go ahead and hit the Enter key and bring that up. I'm going to go over here. I know that that's 81. I'm going to bring this to 82. I want to do a really tight pull here. 255 and hit enter. Then I'm going to go ahead and select this and I'm going to bring this down to zero or black. I'll hit enter. I'm going to click preview and you can see I pulled that out perfectly. Go ahead and select OK. I'm going to take this and I want to go to bitmaps mode black and white and what I want to do is take a look at my pixelation here. And we know that we've got some and I want to deal with that. So I'm going to go to line art and bring my threshold up all the way and select OK. I'm going to left click to knock out the background color. I'm going to do the same thing here. Bitmap, mode, black and white. Now I'm not going to have any extra color here. We'll go to line art and select OK. I'm going to change the color of this to this color. I'll just go ahead and get the eyedropper, click on that, come over here to where I see the edge or the outline, click that, and then I'll just go ahead and select both of these and I'll hit C and E. And I'll left click to knock out the background color and there I have my color separations pulled out of that raster image working in grayscale mode. So something I'm sure you've never seen before, but very powerful raster functionality here directly in CorelDRAW with the Tone Curve tool. and We'll go ahead and wrap here, and I think you'll be able to really work effectively with this tool. And then you'll see times when you have an opportunity, when you have the right images, to really set up these color separations very quickly and very easily. Now, had I gone through these two logos and tried to vector trace them, it would have taken me quite a bit of time, but I was able to literally do it in a matter of minutes here directly in Corel Draw. So we'll go ahead and wrap here, and we'll see you in our next session.